Let's go back up to the crime scene, which was on floor 8. Now, because I'm smelly from rooting through the trash, the enforcer standing outside might smell me from from the wrong side of this door. Oh, there we go. There's our enforcer friend. A little bit shorter than I am. I don't think I can unscrew a chandelier, so I'm going to have to be... Oh, well, I have the key for 803 Jensen Heights. Okay, he didn't end up seeing me. Have to get oh, at least I can solve the first problem. Quick shower, and hopefully on the side. Yeah, there we go. The gym socks is gone. Now at least I don't stink anymore. They don't have a towel for me to dry off. Oh, interesting. I did not open this vent. Oh right, I want to switch back over to the murder case, so in case I find. Any it's up there. Doesn't seem like I'm getting that lucky. Oh, one spot. Okay, these were on. Types of S and T. I am going to have to get to the other side of this door, and that might upset him. He may come to check that out, so I need to be a little bit careful. Okay, well, now we're in a bedroom, which should at least tell us who lives here. So 803 Jansen Heights, make sure we lock that down. <laughs> a Ryuga Kikuchi. So, and they work at... Oh, this is another blank employer, so that's an unemployed person. They have a prescription. And an Amos Worrell. So there are two people who seem to live here. Although I wonder why that one didn't. And why did it give me information about a cockpit? Oh, yeah. Renworthy Management much information as we possibly can about relevant people. Yep, Tara Colombo, I think, owns this entire building, so she'll be the landlord for all of those. So both of those people live here. A bank statement that uh, Luca Siempre ended up being very important last time. So we've got some pest control, rental payment. We've got another Luca Siempre. I don't... I wonder if this is another red gum murder. I thought I caught the right person. Or it could be a complete coincidence. Okay. Got two males living here. Let's see. But well, we know there's at least two people who live here, so it is not a... Uh, but that money is owned by somebody. So we've got S and T all over the place. A hearing aid. Well, that whole thing is a hearing aid. Take a hair. Here's a boot. Size 15. We got a big boot. That's uh, some cleaning product down in the corner. Just move that out of the way. Another key for this place. I still don't have a line on anybody's codes here, though. Business card? Okay, yeah, he works. Ah. On a... Oh no, we're in 803. The Renworthy Management again. Ah, a note. Amos's password is count up from five. They don't always give you the specific number. So, Amos Worrell. Five, six, seven. There we go. We've got someone's passcode. So, now we've got picture and their telephone number. And let's see if there's anything interesting in their mail. Starch breakfast. Ah, the monthly business breakfast, so he may be the manager. 
And you'll receive one waffle, one sausage, sausage, and 30 minutes for eating and appreciation. Ah, I'm starting to get more hungry. Don't forget to pick up milk. So there are a couple. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. So this, this looks like someone at work saying, I'll work overtime to catch up. So this is a work trouble related to Amos Worrell. Or from outgoing accounts, you're not getting paid on time. Sounds rough. Keeps up. Please don't hesitate to bother somebody else. I'm busy. Okay, so this guy is a real class act. So that Talbert person maybe doesn't like them. I have had it with your slacking off, O'Connor. This guy must be the manager, and there are a lot of people who may not like him. Over at, looks like related to his, uh, work. Although we don't know if he's the, uh, the victim yet. Cooper, you saw nothing. We never matched. <laughs> is Cooper knows she asked for a pretty substantial raise. 5% is an interesting number. Let's meet up and discuss how you can earn it. Huh. Okay, that's another person who may not like this person. It's just the start spring. Wow, and Quincy. So Quincy and Talbert both may not like this Amos guy. But that's it for Amos's messages. Okay. I think we should have gotten past... Yeah, the Enforcer just has not come along yet to yell at us. I have to steal my own candy. That, that blueprint, it would be nice if I could say, but... You know someone who lives here has size 15. Oop, what a pin. We must whirl. So that is our victim. Okay. So we'll take his print. So back to the board. Okay, so type T was Amos. Type S is probably the other person who lives here, that Ryuga person. Who's quite likely. Oh, this person was stabbed. Not to death by a bladed weapon. So between 21.30 and 22.45. Yep, while we were in the other place. Not a ton of other information. Okay, we've got his safe code. Uh, it would be nice to no longer get cold. But this... All is bequeathed to his partner, so I'm not allowing to steal it. His fingerprint on what is that? Matchbook. There's always a chance the partner could come home too. Type S. I'm still operating under the assumption that type S. Would The type S is the partner and is not necessarily suspicious. If I can find a third fingerprint, that would be suspicious. Oh, type S. The table lid is glass. It should be covered in it. That's just us getting thirsty and hearing... S me? Ah, oh, that's another book. On top of some money. Oh, interesting. We can turn on the gramophone. Anything under position? Nope. But he was killed in front of his safe. Well, this is a weird, weird apartment. You have to go all the way around the back hall to get to the kitchen. Now, it's not that I'm stealing the newspaper. I just want to read it, and I'll put it right back. Okay. Where is the among us of a 44 year old male at 803 Jansen Heights this is the place we're in so we have the murder reported in here already it is a homicide press not allowed on the scene but according to a Ryuga Kikuchi who discovered the body so his apartment mate did discover the body slashed by a bladed weapon also found a message so get that away business card has been found at the scene leading the killer to become known as 
the business butcher. A neighbor, a Miss J. Hyde, stated, I'm so scared I can't sleep. I'm afraid I might be next. Oh, then let's see. Game over for Gil. That's a sports thing. The other stuff doesn't look too, uh, <laughs> too familiar there. So we do know that the neighbor might have spotted something. They step back down. Just a matchbook at the scene. I haven't found that business card yet. We mentioned in the, in the newspaper. I still think Type S is most likely. Now, if we can find if there's something up. Oh, it's possible that maybe the uh, significant other could be the one who did it. Nah, just for Gemstetter, the up here. Nothing special in there. Ah, uh, tobacco in a pipe. Somebody smokes. Search through the trash again. It might get stinky. Ah, work phone. Okay, that's the office manager. We do know that the other person does not... Uh, is unemployed. Sweepstakes for starch cola. Fire extinguisher. Not Chelsea in here. Money not stealing. Put it in Yes. No. Oh, we have found a gun. With his fingerprints on it. Interesting. He didn't get a chance to use that, it appears. And nothing else down there. I'm not getting a lot of evidence in here. Off instead of on. Interesting, he has a camera. But it appears to be off. So I don't think there's any footage from it. Yeah, where's the business card you're talking about? Is it underneath, perhaps? Look like I can move him. I think not him, but I can't move him. Okay, it's all type F. Now this is bedroom. So we know that this Ryuga person, that whole thing is there. So their partner is Ryuga, but the partner is unemployed. I have not found any other prints here. This is not looking good. Where's the business card that the uh, was pointed to? Pretty sure I searched all these bits. I already took the print. The body again? Oh, it it would have given me all the information. Weird carpet pile, but really nothing in there. I can pick up the box, move it around. I'm not spotting something underneath these things. Another matchbook. Many matchbooks, many... Oh, hey, right. Knife just sitting on the floor. We have found you type you. Oh, and there's the business card. Everything is just sitting right there. I missed it all. So more of these type you fingerprints. Yeah, the business card itself. Didn't have what it takes. Job vacancy, they must be worthy. Okay. So this might have something to do with uh, where he works. He didn't have what it takes. And I can be fairly certain we have found the murder weapon already. I don't have a form yet, so I can't fill in that part. So we have fingerprints, and this is a person where I think we want to search the uh, their place of business. I think it was Ren Management. Let's 
could make it out past the Enforcer. Ooh, he doesn't hate us. So now we have three different cases that we need to follow up on. We've got a murder, we've got infidelity, and we've got corporate espionage. Where should we go after first? And I think the murder case takes the highest priority. We did as much searching as we could in the infidelity case. So now it's time to find Amos Worrell, was our victim. Renworthy Management, which might still be in the same Baitner oh, Grove. That looks like a different building. So let's take the elevator down. Okay. So I think the murder case takes priority. So Amos Worrell. We found a bunch of different V mails. It's V for vacuum tubes, which is what the city runs on in this uh, sci fi dystopian world. We found a bunch of V mails that suggested that this Amos Worrell was not necessarily the best boss. Hello, Enforcer, don't mind me. Harry Admiral. You know, we actually need something to eat and drink. Although, it looks like they are closed. Check out the sink clinic. We actually have a decent amount of money. Maybe we can purchase some kind of a booster item. Nope, they're they're just hanging out here. Does anybody work here? But we are not allowed to be in their bathroom. But someone's coming to answer the door. Who is it? Interesting. Maybe he was outside and is just walking in. I'd like to buy something. So, a frame. I think that allows you to increase or decrease your size, but this is on special. Everything else is, it looks like... Uh, oh, it tells you. Yep, different medicines. A frame we can afford. Let's purchase just to see what, what these things look like. Thank you. So we have bought our very first sink disc. And we can use these or these chambers to install it. Hopefully that's not too loud. Now that we're in, what? Oh, install, uninstall. So for each sync disc, or almost all of them, give you two different options. So we can increase or decrease our height. And the upgrades make that even more of a difference. So we could become up to a third taller or shorter than we currently are. Now, I don't think being taller actually gives us any kind of advantage because it makes us easier to be seen. But I think being smaller would actually allow us to hide better behind things. So I'm going to become compact. Yep, and you can't change this unless you get a new frame and uh, uh, replace your current one with another one. So you get a bright light effect, which I don't particularly like. But now we are 15% shorter. Or we should be. Yep. Everything seems to be a little bit taller than it used to be now. I suppose that would make it harder to uh, get to all shells. <laughs> but uh, now we can hopefully hide a little bit better. We can just check out the employee database for the ink shop. Ah, right. That's what this is. We need a murder resolution form. Let's just pick one of those up while we're on our way to... Leitner Grove, 5th floor, which is where our murder victim works, or worked. Get a resolution. And what else? Well, we are clearly very hungry and thirsty. I know there's a coffee machine. Right! Hey, we kept that uh, sink disk vial from much earlier. Buy a coffee. So it did actually allow us to... Uh, or something here for later. It's actually quite useful. We can go straight back to that sync disk and upgrade upgrade us to be even shorter. Let's see where is that in? There it is. Draw off as much of this as I can in a short time. I think the bed's less sound annoying. So, to use an upgrade file, now we are a further 10%, so 15 plus 10. We are a quarter shorter than we were to start with. 
now the stuff's starting to get tall for us. So hopefully that will allow us to hide behind things more effectively while we're doing our investigation. Let's see, we are very hungry, but that is a soda machine. And for whatever odd reason, it doesn't seem like we can buy food from all of these street stalls. So where is... Oh, Leitner Grove. Ah, this is a very tall building. It looks like we're only going up to the fifth floor. Oh, interesting. Lost item. Between floors negative one and three in Leitner Grove. Interesting. So we can just find some uh, lost items for people. It doesn't pay very well, but I suppose if we find some of those things. Uh, this is a 19th floor building. And clearly we're going to an office location, so this may be... Yeah, those look like residences, so it's a mixed-use building. We have some residences, and this one... This definitely looks like it is offices. I think there's two different offices here. So Renworthy Management is the one in front of us. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, there's two different offices. So it's Canary and Associates is to my left, and we've got Renworthy Management in front of it. And somehow we have acquired blueprints, or maybe because it's a public building, we've got blueprints. So it looks like over on the left side, there's going to be cubicle area. Looks like the break room is in the back to the right. And the security area is, well, it's nice and unlocked, but clearly there is a laser grid in here, as well as a camera. It's going to make it difficult to get in there. Now, they do have a specific... Uh, nope, it goes... Oh, because the door is open, it's actually blocking it on the far side. But will it allow us to sit in that chair? No, it will not. We have an air vent. Do we know where this air vent goes? Please. It goes down and into the wrong office. Although there is a vent in this building. I look up and down. It might be possible to sneak through a different floor and then sneak down and come in through one of these other spots. Let's see. I don't think this will work on the inside of the office, but it's definitely worth a try. I've got to avoid both the passersby and that camera. Great. So I can at least shut down security doors in the middle, so just to show. That's what it looks like when you uh, lock that down. So if you're on the correct side, it'll do that. Now these things reset after a few minutes. The last one is I can shut off the lights. Yeah, it only affected the common area. So I'm still going to have to deal with all of that. And there is a code on the door. My best bet is to run into the back break room. Oftentimes you'll find codes listed there. But I've got to dodge both of these light systems and the camera. Let's do another quick save here. <laughs> Granted, I'll probably live with the thing anyway, but even if I do get uh, enforcers called, because I've got the security door down, they'll have to spend some time lifting the lock down, and maybe I can hide in the vent. Let's see, so as soon as that goes past... Oh, gotta watch out for that. The group. Don't see me. Okay, I don't think there's a one in this room. Oh, it was seeing me through the corner for a second. Okay. So I have to be careful because it's going through these little holes in the door. Let me see where it goes this side of the room. Okay, so it's going through that outermost bit. So I can be safe on this far end of the room. Aha! Public crowns, I can do... I can steal from an area where I don't pursue. Whoa. That is scary. Okay, so it can go all the way back. So this is his office. I might find useful things. 
Might find some food I can yoink. Oh, wait, no. To all employees, the door code to my office has been reset to 4321. I don't know why you would tell your employees this, but we've got the door code to the security office from which we could shut off the uh, all these pesky cameras. So I've got to wait for that to go across. Thankfully, we're paused during this quick thing to get in. Okay, that is a turret, but I don't see any cameras in here. The blinds... You can open up... Okay, good, I closed the blinds, so now the camera won't see me through them. But no, I still want it to be on. Oh, missing lipstick. No, that actually belongs to the boss, because this is a private area. So, X Mao is the actual boss. Okay, so the security. Yep, see, so here's the camera in reception. So, I want to turn that off. In the uh, main office, off. Okay, so there were those two, and. Oh, am I stuck? No, I'm, I'm just sitting up. Okay, so the actual boss, let's look at their mail. You have a match. Anesha. The Founder's Day dinner. Okay, L.E.M. we saw as a creepy cult message since the first thing. That's not suspicious by itself. The employee database. There should actually be files, which are a lot easier to be exhaustive when you're checking them. Business card. You now. New director. Oh, interesting. And the company director lives in the same building, but on floor 16. The high floors are where the really rich people seem to live. Uh, all this money, but it's a private office. It's his. Good for your office that you're already in. Okay. Count backwards from four. Here's his own code twice in the office. Not much else back here. Here, A. Let's see. Diamond paper upgrade vial. Here's filing cabinet. We can find employee records in here. Bingo. So this is our list of suspects. Potentially. So we're going to get... Oh, type U, type U. Isn't that... Yeah, we have found his fingerprints. We have found the murderer very quickly. It's the first employee record. So this Cooper Morrison person is the marketing ex objective, ambitious employee, too quiet, strong work ethic, always conversing about sports. Well, we have found their fingerprint on the murder weapon in this other person's account, and that is account uh, in their apartment, and that is definitely not this person's uh, Ryuga Kikuchi uh, flatmate. So we've got our murderer fairly fast on this one, and... Does the employee record have where they live? No. But we can look them up from a city directory at least. That's the easiest look up. Just to check all the other things. Ah, this is the director. I think it's a good idea. Anytime you can build up this information early on, maybe you'll come across them in a different case much later on, and you'll already have you'll already have their fingerprints. Uh, now that we've gone past 26, it starts over at AA. And, oh, interesting. Oh, this is our victim. Uh, also, too quiet, will not progress, and also always conversing about sports. Okay, well, we hit really fast. Let's see. Oh, those didn't get turned off. Security. Come on. Reception, office. So maybe I can't turn those two off. That point. Because it's directly on the opposite side. I'm directly below the other one. And walking between these is a right pain. So I would like to turn them off. Arm. That's the one on the far side. Maybe go past the door here. 
Cross, is there another camera? No, these cameras stayed off. Let's close these blinds. We can. It doesn't seem we can. Oh, interesting. Another security. Maybe I can. Uh... Oh, that shut off those security. So that won't last forever. But now we are safe from all of those things in here. So maybe we can find the desk of our killer. They all often have nameplates. Well, nobody seems to work at this one, but I still don't know whose money that was. Oh wait, there it is. Got some more drawers. Nothing in these. Okay, Axel Patton. Oh, they all left their stuff unlocked. CM? Now CM, our, the person we're looking for is... Cooper Morrison. So let's absolutely down this person. So eight thousand might be this might be our murderer's desk. Yep, and now we have their passcode and their address. 803 Saraki Grove. So we know where to go to arrest this person. Anything else? Oh, he's got a honey bunny. Listen up, you saw nothing. <laughs> okay, so... And he also yelled at this person about the race. Okay. Well, this is the murderer. I'd feel less bad about stealing from them, but... Oh, nothing there. Okay, our victim... Probably in here. Yep, this is our victim's work desk. So if... They'll have all the exact same uh, mail and stuff as they had back at home. So, but technically, at least in my opinion, all of that stuff has uh, reverted to being owned by his uh, flatmate. Can't get to that. Interesting. Looks like I can't raise the blinds. Okay, I can't spend too long because the security systems might come online. So. Everything we need now, we can search from a city directory, like a, a public place. Oh, see the, the outside stuff reset on us. Okay. So let's go find like a 24-hour diner or something, somewhere to eat, so we can get rid of that ugly negative status effect. We're also going to need handcuffs, and then we can go find this Cooper Morrison fellow. Rouge, Rouge Volunteer. It kind of looks like a pawn shop. And they're closed. Okay, the Grizzly Crab. Looks like they sell food and they appear to be open. Excellent. One of your finest food, please. Hey, okay, let's get a donut. We've got good amounts of money ready. Hey, they got churros. Let's see. Selected, I guess. Hamburger. Just the whole box. Oh. That's weird. It's behind the... Oh, not an issue. Can dispose of that in the bin. Okay, so. Ah, city directory. Actually, we already know where he is now, because we uh, got that out of his... Yeah, there we are. He lives at 803 Soraki. 803... Bookmark that one. But first, we're going to need handcuffs before we're ready to go after him. In fact, how much of this can we put in right now? Full name of the killer, Cooper Morrison. Have evidence, we do. His fingerprint was at the crime scene. We know he lives at 803 Seraki and the murder weapon. So all we need to do is arrest him and we can turn this in. A really quick episode and we can get 
back to our stack of other cases. So let's see. Ah! I love that City Hall has such a distinctive... Ah, I did it again. Forgot to switch to the... Just to the proper view for the gameplay. I'm sorry. They seem to be wearing in foil outfit. So, City Hall has these lockers. I need help. I can afford it, and I don't... Maybe I'll need a second pair of handcuffs. Yeah, you can buy lockpicks in bulk if you actually have money. Ooh. But I think I need to get some of those... I need to get uh, inventory expansion mods, because I still only have the four sets of handcuffs. Or four inventory slots. One of which I'm going to pretty much permanently have this camera in. So now we are ready. And our indigo won't touch it. Here in some other... Huh, suds, the laundromat. But... The murderer may strike again, we found him. and he lives on the 8th floor. Yep, once we're back to the uh, infidelity search, I will feel safe spending the time to uh, check for our corporate espionage. We go. Search for the uh, person we need to steal some kind of file from. I gotta remember to check those intersections. You can see on the upper left corner that green thing. That is our guest pass starting to expire for the infidelity thing. So, what was the precise? It's 8.03. Okay, so we know the killer lives. Oh, we've managed to find a key too. So we may be able to surprise them. Now that might be him over there on the far side. What's that? Don't mind me, I'm just going to hide. Because I've got the two pairs of handcuffs. Did he actually see? And is... He's got the big beard. I think this is our guy. You got him. Uh oh. But he's got. I do not like the fighting. Uh. They managed to counter somehow. I am bruised. They're saying stop, please. You live with a murderer. Okay, so they're going to spend some time unconscious. I don't think we really need to mess with them too much. Oh, even brought flowers. But this is our murderer. Though so he is arrested, all we really need to do is get the cuffs on him. And now we just run to City Hall. Still noticing that we're there. So... Back to City Hall. Plot our route to hand in. Oh, we've got a new status up there in the top corner. Let's see which of these will allow us to see. Boost. Incoming damage is increased. It'll disappear on its own, but you can get painkillers without your recovery. That's new. I don't like to fist fight a lot, so I haven't uh, experienced that particular condition before. The fines of 250. Well, we are technically doing vigilante stuff, so the other person who we get trespassed upon and beat up definitely has a valid complaint. Go so, to City Hall. Like we're headed east because Central Park. Okay, so turn this one in. We found that murderer quite quickly, and 
I'll make sure you can actually see the entire resolution this time. So, for whatever reason, when it's resolving a case, hey, it didn't chug at all this time. Wait, but that's one of the times when it can get a little bit. Damn, case solved. We got social credit and more money. So now we're getting a decent amount of money. There, now you can see we're up to social credit score four, but it's going to take us a long time to get up to 12. <laughs> okay. Ah, and that did oops get used up. Okay, we did a great job on this one. So I think uh we'll wrap it up. But that's okay. We did a great job on this episode. We caught a killer very quickly. So we're starting to oh wait, security threat. Why did it give me that? Well, I guess I'll have to figure out what that means next time as well. So I'll see you on the next episode of Wheel of Games. Bye-bye!